Are you a business owner looking for real advice and input? You're in the right place. From concept to launch to growth, funding and beyond. Welcome to Startup Hustle with your hosts. One once sold a business for $150 million. The other, the author of Million Dollar Bedroom. Here are your hosts of Startup Hustle, Matt DeCourcy and Matt Watson. And we're back. Another episode of Startup Hustle. Matt DeCourcy here with Matt Watson. Hi, Matt. What the hell are you doing over there? I'm trying, I'm trying to get this this match lit, man. I'm gonna get, got a fuse here. I'm gonna I'm gonna launch KC into the moon. All of Kansas City? Possibly. Oh, good. Maybe just part of it. Do we get Lambos too? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna cash in those <laughs> those Bitcoin earnings and buy the Lambos and and go to, and the, go moon. to the moon. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, anyway, um, in, in, on the topic of Launch KC, that's actually an organization. It's a thing. Wow. And it's got all kinds of acronyms and stuff like that from the EDC oh, I like KC of Launch KC. But I got some people here. We have some really cool announcements today. Um, so the money gun isn't even going to hold enough cash compared to what we're going to give away. Ooh. Is this yeah. like Oprah? 150K, baby. Wow. 150K giveaway. Anyway, so we've got Don Peterson, the founder and former CEO of Infusion Express, and Jim Malley, the business development officer from EDCKC. And you can decipher that for us soon. Hi, guys. Hey. How are you, Matt? I'm good. So, and so... Jim, you can say hi. Hey. There we go. Now we can identify voices. And hi, Don. Hi, Matt. Um, so How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I'm excited to be here with you guys today. And we're going to talk about the Launch KC Business Accelerator. Jim, you want to give us a little, uh, little idea of what that is before we get into some details? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Launch KC has been around for five years now. Um, before the accelerator model, we were actually in a grants competition. So before we used to give out $500,000 in the fall every year to nine startup companies. Um, and what we, what we were seeing is we were getting 600 applications a year. So we went in there and we looked at, okay, what industries are we getting a lot of applications and what industries can we make a huge impact? So we ended up going into this accelerator model and this is why Don Peterson's here today with us. Um, we just launched and announced on Tuesday that we are doing a health uh, healthcare vertical focusing on five healthcare companies uh, that Don will run as our entrepreneur in residence. And we also have two other uh, verticals going right now, uh, financial services and clean tech as well. Interesting. Well, Don, you are the entrepreneur in residence. Is, yeah. that, is that true? I've heard. I, I, I That's still... the E-I-R? We're trying to see how many letters we can say. If we can get the whole alphabet down today, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think why we should put a Z at the end of, like, launch KCs. Yeah, we'll uh, come up with healthcare something. Healthcare accelerator. <laughs> yeah. Still early in the episode, trust me. The, Z, the, Z, the Zs will usually come when Watson falls asleep around the 20th oh. second. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Well, if you get that fuse lit, you know, yeah. we can always yeah. just True. Can put it in his chair. I'm still trying to get this match going, man. Are they supposed to be wet? No. Okay. Those are not good matches. Yeah, true. Strike on box. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, out, and you and I and had the um, pleasure of briefly speaking to a group of people at the, the are we calling it MedTech? Yeah. The MedTech Accelerator, and that was, so one of three pieces. But Don, you have a pretty significant history in that industry. Uh, you want to give us a little background on that and then we'll talk about what we're going to do to launch KC to the moon? Yeah, sometime uh, probably around 2007, I think I pivoted from my technology background, which had gone on for some 20 years and semiconductors and high-speed computing and graphics and stuff and um, got involved in a project that led me into the healthcare industry and I actually found it fascinating in the sense that it's so complicated and so dirty and messy and you know i've always believed that um you know opportunity is the greatest where the where the whining is the loudest and if you listen to healthcare, christ there's not anybody who isn't whining about something doctors are whining patients are whining payers are whining politicians are whining i mean insurance I, companies are everybody's whining, whining. Yeah, yeah. find somebody who's not whining about healthcare, and you know they'll you'll figure out they're not actually in healthcare. 
Um, so we started, I started looking at opportunities in the space that I could do, knowing that a three and a half trillion dollar industry would be hard to disrupt in a large form. So we looked at uh, different business models and one that we landed on, um, it was more by happenstance, but is the infusion therapy business. So people need intravenous drugs for a variety of conditions. Some are short-term conditions like chemotherapy for folks with cancer. Uh, but then there's other therapies for folks with chronic diseases for which there's no cure. So like a Crohn's disease or multiple scler sclerosis. Uh, there's treatments for those that keep you in remission more or less and help you lead a reasonably good quality of life. Uh, but you got to come back every two, four, six or eight weeks for the rest of your life and get these infusions. And um, not only is that um, challenging, but the cost of these drugs, I'm almost every episode in these two, four, six or eight week cycles, is somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,000 to $10,000 per. And so um, it's an expensive proposition, but the drugs are incredibly effective for the patients and, and help them lead you know, quali high quality and meaningful life without worrying about their condition. And so um, that company, I started in 2012. We opened the first clinic in 2012, and uh, over the course of the ensuing five years, we spread it out to San Francisco and Chicago, Philadelphia, we ended up with three locations here in Kansas City, and um, the biggest healthcare company in uh, in the U.S., uh, McKesson, called me up one day and asked me if I needed a financial partner. And I presume they were talking about themselves, and I don't know who had deeper pockets in healthcare than they would, but uh, I said, "Yeah, I'm looking for a partner. I'm not sure you're it, but uh, we certainly would consider it." So. Um, fast forward another seven months and McKesson had bought controlling interest in the company and we all decided that it was time for us to, um, you know, sort of let them go do their thing. And so in June of last year, I effectively retired from Infusion Express and the company will do uh, close to $100 million this year and, and they're on their way to being a potentially a billion dollar company here over the next five to seven years. So, so you, using that experience, you're going to act as the leader of sorts or the mentor is that fair yeah i you know i think as we go on this because this is all new to launch kc um we're going to be writing the book as we read it uh, in sure. some respects so i think i think owning a startup is defined almost as that would you agree yeah absolutely yeah and that's really yeah. what attracted yeah. me to it to be honest with you it was you know for me i'm a builder right so this is a chance for me to actually build something uh, from scratch, from whole cloth, we get to design this thing and then, you know, prototype it. And, and, and by this thing, we're it. talking about the Launch KC Accelerator yep. that's developed around MedTech. And, and let's take a second and actually talk about that. So, Jim, you know, the, one of the things that's a hot topic for people that are getting started is how. And business accelerators are a big part of that for a lot of people. So, you mentioned in the past that Launch KC was... You mentioned a, a half a million dollar grant, but that was spread out to a number of people, right? Yeah, before that was spread out to nine uh, companies. So they were getting 50,000, and then we'd have one grand prize uh, winner with 100,000. So it was a good thing to kind of ignite those companies. Um, but going to this accelerator model, what we're trying to do is actually outside of the cash contribution, um, and each of those companies will receive a minimum of $50,000 from our partner, Nutera Capital. Um, but outside of the cash contribution, this is why we, you know, have been talking to full scale. We need to provide resources to these startups, um, such as software development, um, legal services, so these folks can kind of get going. Well, I think we can help with that, right, Matt? Yeah, absolutely. It's a rumor. Yeah. So, well, let's just get into that. So, you guys obviously have these three different verticals that are going on. We've been talking about this for a little bit, but. I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and, and make the announcement. So FullScale is very, very excited to uh, become the development partner with Launch KC and for all of the companies that you choose, which is going to be 15 in total, we are going to give them $10,000 of development credit at FullScale. Right, $10,000 each, Yes, which is going to be, what, two months of? almost two months of development it work. really just depends on what they're going to do um and how they want to do it but yeah i mean that could be even longer in some cases so and that's a that's like that's i don't want to say it's a grant but we're not taking an equity position that's our way of, of giving back to kc in that regard and i mean sure we'd like to continue an ongoing relationship with those companies if and when possible but if not we'd just like to help you guys move the needle so hopefully that'll help 
Yeah, and partnerships like that act absolutely move the needle because startup companies don't have the resources to go to a full scale and be able to get right. the resources that you guys are going to provide for us. Well, and when I and when I spoke to the group of people that so I don't know how many people were there a hundred the other night. Um, 80 to 100 we'll call it 200 okay sure uh, when <laughs> when all 900 people were at the dinner the other night no but that was one of the things when i when i had the 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 mic you know i said that you know matt and i both have acknowledged so many times in our past that uh getting started is the hardest part and finding the resources to be able to do it so these kind of programs that you guys are running are, are really important and and you know, these businesses are often at different stages and there's all kinds of different business accelerators and stuff. So, I mean, would you agree, Matt, that it's a pleasure on our, our behalf to help 15 new companies Absolutely. get things moving? I mean, and, and much like you said, Don, it's like, it's just fun. Yeah. It's fun. Like I like it it's in so many ways. It's also inspiring for us because we'll get to know these companies. We'll talk to them and you know, they're just doing different stuff. I think the more people you talk to that are doing fun and innovative and energetic things, the, it, it, well, it, it's contagious. We'll get a few of them on the podcast, I'm sure. Yeah, well, that's an, actually another thing. Yeah. We have also committed to have all 15 companies in to come and talk about what they yeah. do. So we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, uh, it's always interesting. Um, that Did, so for all three uh, accelerators, have the companies been chose for all three of them? Not yet. So that's part of why we're here today. Oh, let's actually make sure to mention where where everyone can sign up. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So actually, we have two of our accelerators are in the judging process, and for our healthcare accelerator, we are um, in the application process. So okay. if you are interested in applying, uh, we would encourage you to apply at f6s.com backslash launch health accelerator. 2019 backslash apply i'll tell you what we'll put that in the notes down below so if you're so, listening but but yeah you can also go to launchkc.org is it org uh launchkc.org or nutera.com there you go yeah, yeah and that's so, N, that's n-e n-u-e-t-e-r-r-a so if i'm listening to this and i'm like oh i can apply what are the requirements how do, how do i know if i can apply step one Buy a money gun. Okay, buy a money gun. <laughs> Done. I'm ready. I'm qualified. So what, how, how, how does my company, uh, how, how am I qualified for this? So if you have a money gun, you can <laughs> uh, apply. But, you know, we're really looking for early stage companies. We are looking for companies that are past the idea stage. But they're not very, you know, they're not in that mature bucket just quite yet. So, so they don't have revenue or they do have revenue? They would have revenue. Most of these companies would. Okay. So we're looking for you to be right before you enter that Series A. Okay. Um, and I feel like that's a really important part that we can play to really help, you know, companies get from, you know, right before Series A to hopefully grow to a mature stage. I feel like a lot of times, sometimes that can get lost in translation. So they've been... You know, fumbling around, they got something sort of working, they got a couple customers, they're trying to figure out, what do I do next? How do I take this to the next level? Yeah. So th and you guys help them figure out, okay, here's what you need to do, what not to do, how do we take this to the next level? Yep, exactly. So a lot of our programming will be based around that. And, um, you know, Don and I have had a lot of conversations. Uh, when it comes to the programming, you know, we want you to focus on your company. We want you to go out and be able to be in a position to find customers, be investable. We don't want to bog you down and, you know, just stuff that you don't need to be involved in. Um, and Don, I think, can probably talk a little bit about some of those companies that we're looking for in that healthcare space. Yeah, I think there are three main categories of companies that would be interesting to us in this accelerator. And um, those who are in the industry will understand when I say this, and it, it would take probably longer than this podcast to explain each one in greater detail. But um, the three are um, the first area is and these consumerization. Are, these, these are all under the med tech, or is this? Yeah, is this is all under the health, okay. the health technology or health sure. healthcare uh, vertical. Um, we're looking for companies that are doing things that make the consumer experience in healthcare better. And so, of course, that's a broad area. But as I said earlier. You know, patients are as unhappy with dealing with the healthcare system as any constituency in that group, and and so anything that folks are doing to help the patient experience uh, improve, uh, we're going to take a look at. 
the other area is payment reform. So we can all agree that you know the system here in the U.S. is extraordinarily expensive and probably very wasteful. And so what we're looking for are companies that are um, working on payment reforms, um, value-based payments, uh, outcomes-based payments, and many of them will be using data to sort of determine whether or not this treatment pathway is better than that you know, that way or whether or not this, this therapy is less expensive and just as efficacious as another therapy so that um, when clinicians are choosing therapies for patients who present with different problems, they know what the most effective and least expensive pathway or, or treatment program would be. And so that's just a lot of data crunching to get to that. And so, you know, we're not saying we want data only companies or AI companies or blockchain companies. Um, we're saying that if you're doing something to help with um, improving the whole payment uh, schema, uh, we, we want to talk to you. The third and, and final area are those technologies. You know, what can be done with AR and AI and machine learning and predictive analytics? You know, if you've got <clears throat> some great, you know, Markov chain Monte Carlo process for, you know, reviewing clinical um, outcomes, and that leads to better clinical decisions, and you can create a clinical decision support system out of it that when you put in the symptoms and the presentment and the lab data and all that, you know, out, out comes a, okay, you should treat this patient this way. Um, we don't want to take the physician out of the equation. I don't think there's a scenario where, where that would work, but to inform the physician about those kinds of um, indicators through some kind of clinical decision support system uh, would ultimately be more helpful to the clinician who's busy, because there's an extreme shortage of physicians across every, every specialty. And uh, in order for them to see you know, patients in 10 minute increments, they need to make decisions quickly. I'd be interested in technology that would help me not have to wait for 45 minutes for the appointment I was 15 minutes early to. Yeah, that would That's be a great. problem I'd like to solve. How yeah. about you, Matt? Everything about healthcare is a problem. <laughs> I mean, I I just See, I dealing you. with my uh, my four year old going to the dentist, and it was if I paid cash, it was thirteen hundred dollars. If I what? filed it for insurance, it was seventeen hundred dollars out of pocket. I'm like, how the hell does this make any sense? Yeah, the four plus four <laughs> equals fish, right? Oh my god. But yeah, so okay, so once again to recap that, um, and you can uh, give me one of those cards, buddy. Oh, so yeah. as far as like the launch KC goes now. Um, we're here mainly talking about the healthcare stuff because we've got Don here as one of the entrepreneurs in residence. It's going to help. But once again, um, and this is the first year you've done the, the three headed spear of cohorts, right? Oh yeah. Okay. And, but that's, you th we're thinking that's going to be the future. Maybe. Actually, we have gotten a lot of folks really interested in the program, and we're positioning ourselves to have at least six of these verticals. Okay, so we're going to expand. And then how many times a year? Um, we're going to do each vertical once a year. Okay. That's our goal. And they're going to be staggered, so they'll okay. be throughout the year. Some will open in the winter, some will open in the fall, gotcha. and the spring, and the summer. So we're trying to make this an ongoing year-round thing. Yeah. Good it's, for you guys, so by the way. so all Good this is guys. backed by, is it ECJC? Um, no. Yeah. No, so kind of. We actually have a ton of different sponsors. Um, As you can see here on the podcast, this podcast, this postcard has all of the logos. Oh, all right. It. Let me see that. So we're really. We, we love all things visual here on our audio program. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I didn't have to shave this morning? No. Oh. No, Don, you you as well have a face made for radio, so, <laughs> okay, um, so this, join this, the club. So My mom was, has told me. <laughs> this was born out of the EDC. Yeah, so okay. and this that's was the Economic Development yeah. Commission. Or yeah. Is it a committee or commission? Uh, corp corporation. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dang. I know, we're fancy. Hang on. Yeah. That's me being wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> Third time this year. Yeah. Yeah, so what we really do is we get a lot of our funding through organizations in Kansas City. Um, we have great partners like Lead Bank, Hush Blackwell, the City of Kansas City has backed us, Downtown Council, Kaufman. All and they're, they're writing checks? They're writing checks. Nice. Let me go ahead and give those people a shout out. Full Scale. Heard yes. of those guys. Uh, First Business, Hirsch Blackwell, Missouri Technology Corporation, Black & Veatch, the NBKC Bank, Nutera Capital, BioNexus, the EDC. What's just that KC? Is that the... That's uh, the city of Kansas City. The city of Kansas City. 
uh, downtown KC, the Ewing Marion uh, Kaufman Foundation, K Kansas City Power and Light, the Kansas City Power and Light District, the Lead Bank, Port KC, and the William T. Kemper Foundation. That's a lot of people, guys. Yeah, so those folks write checks to us to actually have operating costs. You know, we have all these operating costs mm -hmm. such as F6S, software, um, real estate. They help fund the administrative side. What MBKC Bank, Black & Veatch, and Nutera do, they are really our uh, corporate champions. They're the ones that are going to be writing in the checks to the companies. Okay. They're, you know, they're heavily involved in the judging process, selecting these companies. Uh, who do they want in their cohort? Um, you know, who can they co-develop with, or who do they see the most growth with, depending on the situation. Um, so those folks are the ones that are really important. Now we've talked before about NBKC, which is the the bank has an accelerator. Is this the same accelerator, or is this a different accelerator? That is the same accelerator. Okay. Last year was uh, was our pilot year. Okay. So we did this to test it out in Kansas City and to see how people liked it, and it went over really well. Because we had a whole podcast yeah, episode Zach about was, that. Zach was in here. Yeah, he Zach fired, and he, Megan are great. He fired the money gun, didn't he? I don't know. Maybe. Everyone's fired. Everybody does, I yeah. I, I'm excited that 15 new companies are going to fire it soon. Um, now... Nutera Capital, that's N-U-E-T-E-R-R-A, is, uh, is a venture fund. Um, they're located here in town, and they're, they, they're focused on healthcare okay. stuff. So that's where, and some of these companies um, may be well positioned to receive more than the $50,000, am I correct? Yeah, absolutely. And it's pretty funny. We were talking to Nutera about this idea that we had for healthcare, um, and Don connected us with Nutera. And they were like, oh, we want to be a sponsor. Don and I hopped on the call, and next thing you know, we ex kind of explained the model. Um, and they were like, well, we kind of want to be more involved than just being a, you know, a sponsor and writing a check and going away. And that's really how the partnership came about was, you know, Don's uh, past life brought Nutera into, uh, this, into this accelerator. Yeah, I think it's actually the, one of the best parts about the healthcare version of this accelerator is that we actually have a real venture capital fund who's putting money in these companies as they come in. And Nutera, if you don't know them, um, they've been quietly building a very large business around the business of unbundling things from hospitals and putting them into the community. So they build ambulatory surgery centers and things like that that are not hospital-based. But what's cool about this for anybody coming into this cohort and who applies is that Nutera is going to look at every application and they may invest in companies that we don't put in the cohort. Um, we, they may invest more than 50K. So 50K is the minimum, not the maximum. So if they find a company who's coming in or maybe is more mature than we think we could really help as part of an accelerator, they can go ahead and invest in those companies anyway um, outside of the program. And certainly the ones that are coming into the program, they're going to get the 50K minimally. It could be more. Uh, but they're going to get the experience and um, and uh, um, access to the kinds of things that Nutera has been doing for over 25 years in the in the healthcare industry. So it's it's a pretty cool opportunity for these companies. Is that 50k? Is that a, is that in form of a grant? Are they becoming equity partners? They are level? becoming okay. equity partners, and and that's why we agreed that the 50k was simply a minimum. If during that negotiation with the company coming in. Um, so that could be part of the process yeah, as well. They okay. might decide, hey, maybe we need to put 100 grand in this company. Maybe we need to put 200 grand in, um, and and so they can make that decision at that point. And so, it, it, to me, that from from an opportunity perspective for anybody applying to this thing, that's a big deal because now as you go out of the accelerator when this program is over, you've got a VC fund already on your cap table. That's and awesome. That gives you street cred with other. Other investors. Now, this is open to companies that aren't just in Kansas City. True. So, True. And, and I think that we should be specific about that, is even though this is a launch KC accelerator, um, some of these folks in, in these different verticals are going to actually come here for this purpose. Am I well, right? um, yeah. And uh, when I was going through the applications on um, the other two verticals, we've had companies from, I think it was over 10 countries apply. Wow. So all outside of the United States, all globally, um, you know, we want to make sure that you can come to Kansas City, you can get the resources, the capital uh, that you need to grow. Well, in one of our other episodes, uh, we just recorded about uh, venture capital 
we're talking about the different cities need to play to their different strengths. And one of the strengths of Kansas City is healthcare technology, right? right. I mean, we're home to Cerner and NetSmart and all these other uh, companies that have all kind of spawned out of, of different uh, healthcare related stuff. And anybody who's thinking about coming here to be part of the accelerator, like this is a place to be to find talent and people, guys like Don Peterson, um, who have deep knowledge in the, the industry. So. Can't yeah, and for, the, and for those of you that that aren't able to see, Don actually did just pass a hundred dollar bill under the table to Matt <laughs> after that shout out. Yeah. So, so Matt yeah. has actually been paid. I hope to he be had... a podcaster now, and then you're going to owe part of your percentage to the agent that we yeah. signed with. Yes, yesterday. yeah, 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 four yeah. percent. All, yeah. all of which are going to be episodes that you will hear after this one comes out. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're welcome. I'm just happy you got paid, Matt. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and you owe me part too. Uh, now that I've gotten paid, I'm going to retire. You should. Yeah. That, isn't that what we determined? You make partner and then immediately yes. quit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so once again, if you guys want to check out, uh, so we have, you know, we've had listeners. We are now up to 176 countries. Wow. I don't even know. I need to know. Who are we missing? I don't know. I'm going to sit down. Someday North Korea and, and Syria and <laughs> Iran. We're working on some plans. We were going to fly in Zoom mp3 players because yeah. we think we can get a good deal on them i yeah. say yeah, yeah. so we we're going to fly the north in. korea won't know what they are but the problem that we had with that is then we were not going to have any wi-fi so we're also going to build a blimp okay and then broadcast wi-fi over these countries it's it's going to be maybe one of the accelerator companies can yeah. help us with this yeah. possibly yeah. wi-fi Do, balloons or something yeah, yeah yeah if we have a, a the, you know that's actually kind of interesting so you talk about some of the um, and not to get off the subject of health tech, but so you have the FinTech, clean tech, health. Like, what are some of the other things you guys are looking at doing? Um, well, Kansas City has a deep passion for ag tech. Yep. You know, we would be a really good... For what, a, oh, ag, ag, agriculture. agriculture. Yeah. yeah. I thought he said eggs. I know, I did yeah. too. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't really up. good, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then... How you, many different ways can you cook an egg? <laughs> yeah. With Bluetooth enabled eggs. Yes, Ooh, I like that. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we actually have a really good presence in the insurance business. So okay. insurance tech would be really good too, um, which I know a lot of people don't enjoy dealing with insurance companies, and maybe we can make that process easier. Yeah. So we've had a few different um, industries reach out and say, hey, we're actually interested in doing this. Um, so I think, you know, when we get you know, down the line uh, later this year, I think, you know, those will be the two that we're looking to do is and that, agriculture and um, insurance. Another tech. thing that's really home to, in Kansas City is logistics. Yes. Anything to do with logistics or transportation or... Yeah, and we're, I mean, we're in, a, we're in the middle of America, yeah. and, I mean, we can make that process easier, and that that is something that's also been on our radar as well. Logistics would be really good. So... If you're interested, in, if you have a healthcare technology company, especially if you do anything that works to improve the consumer experience, reform the payment process, or anything related to data analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, predictive, anything, um, you have till August 15th, 2019 to apply to this year's uh, version of this. Yeah, and, and we're only accepting the first 250 applications, and they are oh. coming in pretty quick. So we encourage people to apply, apply right away. That means HTFU, and fill up and get your application in. Yes. Yeah. Is that fair? Hey, yeah. I didn't swear. Good for you. Don and I are on a heater right now for not swearing. I we, know. We went through both of our yeah. speeches last night and the podcasts so far. So yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Oh, it's oh, over. Man. Uh, hang on. Thought, there you the go. The clicker. This thing should You've be. You've been a, bad today. About what? I don't know. It's two clicks. Just running the clicker? Yeah. Two clicks. Well, I saw you yawn earlier. So. <sighs> there you go. Does that That's reverse actually the click? what it is. What? Does that reverse the click now? No, I don't, even, I don't even know what this thing does anymore. Right. So um, I think the most important thing that we do while we're here is emulate what it's like to be funded. So as you hear the rattling of the money gun, I think that Jim is probably going to want to fire this. Am I correct? Oh. Yeah, I would love right, to. Hang on. So this is, this is not what it's like when you get your $50,000 from Launch KC. Ah! <laughs> Make it rain. There Make it go. rain. 
I mm. could have fun with that on the weekends. Yes. That's just what I was thinking. <laughs> different topic, people. Different topic. Hang on. Hang on, Jim. <laughs> Jim will be at bazookas all week. <laughs> Money okay, Jim, you have to clean up all the ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we recommend the hand sanitizer afterwards. Yeah. Unfortunately, this does not meet the $50,000 minimum that any company that is selected by the Launch KC program. So once again, um, what, all right, so if you're listening and you, want to, you have a startup and you want to get it moving, I want you to go to launchkc.org. Now, if you have a health tech company or something related to that, you have to August 15th, but I want you to keep an eye on what's going on with this because listen up and like if you didn't figure it out up to this point, you're talking 15 companies that are going to be well-backed well resourced, supported, publicized, and you know they've pretty much leaked that there could be even more. Yeah, and full scale's given away up to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, so I mean, you're talking about well, ten per. Yeah, but but yeah, yeah and that's and now what we are not going to be your equity partner. That's us just supporting you and trying to help you you know, get some of our advice. Now, in conclusion with that, you know, Matt, we also did say we were going to have some of the companies on here on the podcast. I'm looking forward to doing that. And then also, Matt, because there's nothing I love more than making commitments of your time without asking. I thought you were going to say money. No. no. Yeah. Is that, he that, might love that a little bit more. Yeah. Right? You should be a Foley artist. You know, you really should. This, do you even know what that is? No, I that don't sound effects. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Matt, we're also going to participate as as presenters for this program at some point. Um, at some point, <laughs> you're not going to get paid. So yeah, here, give it back. <sighs> yeah, sorry, you're not going to get paid for your presentation. <laughs> right. But, oh, yeah. but yeah, we've offered to to include some mentoring and advice. But but so you know, like I said, if you're listening to the show. You have an opportunity to present your startup, your business. There's different kinds of verticals. And you're talking about 250 applicants just for health, health tech, right? Yes. So, I mean, think about that. That's 750 companies that have a possibility of applying on three different verticals. Make this work. Make it vibrant. Make a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, of what you do getting your business started about getting into programs like this. There are, there are programs, accelerators, and stuff like this all over, <laughs> not to take any of the, you know, and, and some of it, you know, I talked to a lot of people, they say, well, look, I got turned down. And then the following year, I really got it together. And then I was accepted. So it's not, you know, some of these things, it's like, you know, you talk about 250 people applying, five people are going to get selected, come, c- come in hot, man, get, get your shit together, have a great presentation, um, know what you're talking about, define your needs, define your solutions. Matt, you got any input on, on, on how to be noticed or like? Well, it's, it's like raising capital too. It's a competition. Yeah. There's, you know, if you're reaching out to a VC, the same thing. They, they only approve 1%, 2% of the people they get applications for. And Hang on. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, these accelerators are the same way, right? It's a numbers game, and uh, you know, we we one of our friends that uh, was on our podcast, he went to an accelerator right in Austin, um, not one in Kansas City. So I mean, it's just wherever it makes the that most sense. That was Donald, right? Yeah, Donald Hawkins, right? Hawkins, so yeah. there's different accelerators that specialize in different things, and. Uh, a numbers game you just got to keep applying and you're competing against everybody else so and along the way you know listen do you guys do you actually tell people that they weren't accepted as well maybe if you're down to the final 20 to 25 sure. we will we'll reach out um do you tell them why we will walk through if they have questions sure um and say hey you know you, this might stick out a little bit better or you need to work on this part of your business a little bit and that's where i'm going with that listen listen to what people say because you'll find that when you're raising capital, you're doing different things. Listen for that echo. And if you hear that resounding echo over and over again, I mean, it doesn't necessarily define what you need to do, but there, there's possibly some basis for it. That's where I would begin to focus more of my attention. So if you're applying, you, I mean, you got to be able to speak to and prove that not only do you have a great idea, but you have the team to achieve it and build it. Yeah, and once right. you're down to the final 20, we, we'll do uh, we'll either, if you're a local company or you're a national company, we'll bring you in. Um, if you're national, we'll do a Skype, a Skype call, and we'll do a little presentation with, uh, you know, with our list of judges and, 
um, you know, give you the opportunity to really present just outside of just putting pen to paper. Because we really want to know a little bit about what you are too, your mm-hmm. culture, who you are. I think that's really important. Betting too. on the horse and the jockey both. So yeah. yeah. Well, and the application is just the price of admission. So you got to do the Don. Do you have Do you have any input about about some ways to get noticed? Like just a couple quick tips on our way out here. Just I, I think it's always good for us to try to help people be better. Well, I think in healthcare, companies have to understand the context of the area they want to get into. You know, if you're trying to sell a technology product to an industry that's averse to technology, you're going to have problems with that. So you better have a way in. And, and know what that way in is. A go-to-market strategy. Yeah, yeah you got to know. You can't what's just your, say, what's your path well, my software is better than everybody else's software. Yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's like, I, I got the better cola. Yeah, but there's no room on the shelf for you, so sorry. Um, so you, you got to have something that not only moves the needle in a big way, but that you can get traction in that market with in a reasonably short period of time uh, without having to educate a million people and break down psychological and cultural barriers to get there so you you better have it together that that was deep at the end the psychological and cultural barriers because that could open up there's a lot of but you're right there's a lot of stuff like like that going on jim on the way out here i mean what are what's what's the what do you think's the one of the things that you guys are looking for most oh man other than a money gun i would love the money gun uh, Someone's going to get on a Skype call and fire a money gun, and Jim's not going to be the one on the call, and they're going to be like, what are you doing? Like, you said we, could, we, we, we would help us get noticed. We're really just looking for companies that are, are positioned to grow. Um, we want high-scale growth companies, um, and you know our goal is to keep them in Kansas City. If they don't stay in Kansas City, then we get that, You know, like Matt said earlier. Some areas in the country make more sense than others. But I think Kansas City is a great place to have uh, your healthcare company, um, and you know we have the resources, and we're gonna ha- try to help you scale. And you get to work with Don um, throughout the accelerator period on a day-to-day basis. Um, and I think that's one thing that Launch KC really provides is this uh, EIR or Entrepreneur in Residence. We really look for someone that's done it, um, that started a company, that has exited a company successfully. Um, and I think that's one really big added benefit is to be able to work with someone um, like Don throughout this period. God, do I, do I get change for my 100? Yes. Like, it's in the money gun, dude. Because I got to split it with Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be careful when you talk about splitting money with Matt because he will actually just tear it in half. <laughs> I did that one day. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, dude, I said I wanted change, not, yeah. uh, not that I wanted a 15th of a dollar bill. <laughs> Well, yeah, and you get to drive Don to his RV after the podcast. Well, it's parked. Good. It's parked out in the lot next to yeah. Watson's. <laughs> well, next to Watson's tour bus. <sighs> don't don't put a tour bus as a line item on your budget when seeking funding. No, is no. that true? Yeah. So anyway, um, on the way out, check out launchkc.org. You can Google LaunchKC. We're going to post links to where you can apply for the health uh, health accelerator. But even if you're listening to this and you've passed that August 15th, or if you're not a healthcare company, keep checking in, keep checking in on the site. Because like you said, you heard Jim say it, um, they're going to be launching more of these. They're going to be throughout the year. And you just got to keep on keeping on. See you all next time. Thank you. Thanks.